Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I want to discuss using a Google Chromebook from 2012 in 2019 and beyond. Now, this model here is a Samsung XE303 C12 that I actually purchased in November of 2012. Uh, now, the backstory about this laptop is that I actually discovered it uh, at a Wired magazine pop up event. And originally, I was really skeptical about using a Google Chromebook at the time. In fact, they, they were still relatively new. And the premise of using a laptop that was really just built upon um, Chrome, which was essentially just, you know, it's really just a browser, um, you know, that was not really kind of reassuring at the time. Uh, as reliable as the Chrome um, browser is, um, there was kind of really the sense that this computer can only be used online for it to be, you know, functional. Um, and after going to that pop-up event, that's when I kind of realized that, oh, wow, there was actually a lot of stuff that you can do offline with this computer. Um, and at the time, it actually, you know, I think for the amount of storage on it, which was, um, there's 16 gigabytes on it, um, it's actually quite a bit when you think about it and the fact that you can actually add expandable storage, you can use, use uh, external devices for additional storage, um, that really this laptop was, you know, very quite robust for its time. You know, I, I say that as if it was a long time ago, but for seven years uh, in terms of uh, progress from Chromebooks is, you know, it's been significant. But this is one of the earlier Chromebooks that really kind of caught attention uh, for a number of reasons. One, it, it's when Samsung kind of really just first got involved in, into the Chromebook mix. Uh, and secondly was the price. Um, one of the reasons that I guess I was really attracted to a Google Chromebook was because this was only $250 at the time. And when this particular model came out, there was kind of a huge craze for this Chromebook. And um, this model here particular, or this unit that you're looking at, I actually originally purchased uh, purchased it for my sister, and I actually bought three of them for all three of my sisters. And uh, the backstory, just really quick, that in order for me to have gotten them, I literally had to make three separate orders on Best Buy to, um, you know, as different people, because there's only a limit of one per person, and would literally have to go, uh, in, in order for me to ensure that I could get this uh, get this Chromebook, I would literally have to go to Best Buy at, I believe it was like almost like close to 1 a.m. here in, in New York. We actually have a 24 hour Best Buy here that would allow us to kind of, you know, put in an order and then pick it up same day. But in order for me to actually have gone this, I actually literally had to create three separate orders under three different names and literally, you know, go to the store at 1 a.m. to pick them up to ensure that I got um, a unit while in stock. And I literally, um, I can wholeheartedly say that in New York City, in, I probably got the majority of these Chromebooks at the time when they came out. There weren't many. I remember uh, looking at total stock and there was about maybe 12 units across all of the main Best Buys in the tri-state area. And literally, I I believe I got most of them. Um, uh, so the three I also just got for my sister, but I also had to get a bunch of friends. And uh, again, at $250 a unit, this was an exceptional deal. Now, uh, the funny thing is, uh, I gave one of them to my, I gave three of them to my sisters for Christmas. Um, one of them actually, for one of my sisters, it, it just was like super buggy. And I guess she never really told me and we never had a chance to kind of get it repaired or fixed while it was under warranty. Uh, for my youngest sister, she actually had it stolen from her apartment. Um, you know, that's a story for another day. And for my older sister, uh, she actually kind of just never really used it. And uh, I actually, you know, subsequent Christmases afterwards, I actually got her a Mac Mini and then eventually I would get her a uh, MacBook Air laptop. So, you know, which are, you know, vastly superior to this, obviously. So this kind of just, you know, laid on, on the wayside uh, at her apartment and it really was just never used for the past seven years. So uh, more recently, I kind of upgraded uh, and got, it her, got her a new MacBook Air laptop and um, I kind of discovered that this Chromebook, 
she wasn't really using and I basically said, hey, let me let me take it. Um, maybe I'll find some use for it. And when I first got it, uh, you know, I, I realized that it was really slow. And in trying to figure out like what made it slow because she had nothing on this laptop, what I realized was that she just never really updated uh, Chrome on it. So I updated it uh, to Chrome and, um, you know, I updated it maybe two more times after that. But now actually when I try to update Chrome on this computer, as you can see here, if I'm up to the latest version, it's up to date. Uh, but after this, unfortunately, I can no longer update uh, or upgrade this unit particularly. Uh, because this unit is no longer compatible with the very latest, latest version of uh, Chrome OS. So with that, I've now reached the end of life for this laptop, and who knows how long, I guess, uh, this laptop can hold up on the internet. But for the time being, it does a fantastic job. And, you know, I guess I'll probably do a follow-up to see how we do a year from now and how this how uh, this machine still holds up. But for now, in 2019, and you know, at, at least what I can predict, up at least until most of 2020, this unit will hold up quite exceptionally well. Um, now, when I try to view videos here on YouTube, uh, really has no issues. I can view everything kind of in high definition. Let's kind of just pick a random video here, use Metal Jesus. And uh, for the most part, it will do a pretty good job trying to um, output at 1080. Now, when I try to start playing videos in 4K, that's when, you know, this laptop can kind of like stutter in a bit. But uh, it's in 40 right now, but let's try to hit 1080, see how it handles up. Uh, you know, not much problems. I mean, it's loading quite a bit right now, but you know, fairly smooth. So, um, well, I guess when it's not buffering quite a bit, but usually uh, it holds up 1080p quite well. Uh, and in most tasks that I kind of set, you know, to do on this computer, let's say when I go to eBay, uh, you know, I do a lot of transactions, transactions on this computer, I do banking on this computer, um, really kind of just for web purposes, this computer does a fairly uh, robust job. Now I'm gonna try to put in something, let's say like Photopea, which is kind of like a browser version of Photoshop. Let's see how it kind of handles that. You know, for the most part, it, it actually can handle it quite well. Uh, I did very simple photo editing uh, on Photopea using this Chromebook. And uh, while it does tend to kind of stutter a bit, it holds it up quite well. Uh, you know, again, I think if you're using multiple uh, browsers, this laptop will, will struggle, you know, to be honest with you. But for the most part, quite exceptional. Um, yeah, some really cool things about this laptop and just looking at it for its time, is that it has really uh it has a number of different ports on here uh two usb ports hdmi and to me hdmi is a big deal because i compared this to my macbook pro from 2012 and that doesn't even have hdmi out so this when you kind of think about it the google chromebook for its price at 250 in 2012 you really did get a lot of bang for your buck um there's the expansion port for um uh, a micro sd card Let's see what else we got here. Um, that really seems to be it in terms of uh, expansion and outputs, but really uh, a really great well-built unit. I mean, it's plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it's durable. Um, the onboard camera on here or the, the webcam on it, it's 480p, but I think if for a laptop like this, uh, that's okay because this com laptop wasn't meant for power users. This was kind of meant for, you know, you're a college student, you need something quickly to kind of take notes uh, in Google Notes or send out some quick emails. Uh, or, you know, this is kind of like a secondary backup device uh, on the road. 
it handles quite well. And the battery life is amazing on this on this laptop. Now, again, this is seven years old. It hasn't really been utilized a lot, but I tend to actually get, I'd say, close to, uh, you know, seven hours on this laptop. In fact, I brought this recently to a trip to Japan. I didn't bring the charger and it lasted me the whole week. Uh, that's like, you know, using it for hours here and there. And uh, to me, this was a, this is a great travel computer for when you just need something that can just get on the internet. And uh, also note, because it's Chrome, you know, it's, you know, it's fairly safe. I would say like you're, you'll really have a hard time kind of getting malware uh, on this uh, laptop because essentially every time you turn it off, it essentially just resets all the memory caches. So there's really nothing that's like stored on this laptop. Now, um, what's really great that I like about it is because it has HDMI, put in HDMI and put in here. And let's change. What's great is it can operate as a as a kind of a streaming device. So you, if you want to put Netflix on here and then just kind of, I guess, put on your screen or put Disney, play Disney Plus through a web browser, I am actually using this actually to, uh, as a cord cutter myself, I actually use this to stream a lot of um, live television. Let's see, here it is this. Here I am watching Watchmen on my big screen from my laptop. So my opinions on this Google Chromebook from 2019, or sorry, from 2012, is that if you can find one of these and you can find them in relatively good condition, uh, you, you generally should be able to find this for a good price. I'd say no more than $50 maximum. Uh, and this is kind of a good beat up laptop that will get you through travel and literally can also, uh, I'd say even probably be a good kind of casual device or casual laptop that you can use on a daily basis. I find myself using this on a daily basis for really just like all my, my normal web needs and for streaming video. So I do think, um, if you find a lot of these old Google Chromebooks, they have exceptional use up to, you know, up till at least I'd say eight years after their initial manufacturing date. Uh, right now, again, this is a seven-year-old laptop, but I do anticipate that it will last me well into 2020. So, you know, again, I'll probably do a follow-up video, but uh, to see how, how it holds up a year from now. But do you have a Google Chromebook? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And I guess if you even have the older ones from 2011 or 2010, I believe there is a, a Google Chromebook from 2010, let me know how so far it's stacking up, considering that you can't update uh, Chrome OS anymore on those laptops either. Um, anyways, thanks again for watching this video and catch you guys again soon.